Taurus, for so long, your readings have been about love and you fooling around. And I don't think this one is. I think it's about money. Hurrah! Uh, Toran Red Gardis even commented, look why his story is about love. And I can't help it. That's the, what the cards are doing. But no, I think this is about money. You look at that central card, Wheel of Fortune. A minor cycle coming to an end, a new one beginning, and it should bring luck with it. And the past is about love. It's about a new love, the Ace of Ace of um, Cups. Your current energy is that of the Four of Pentacles. Suggests that you have an unhealthy attitude towards money. Suggests. I'm not saying it is yet. <laughs> Um, your future energy is that of the King of Wands, natural born entrepreneur. Now we have had an indication that you're that in the past. Um, the energy that leads to the outcome is the Seven of Pentacles, long term investments. Now a lot of signs have been getting this in September. And I've been saying I, it isn't necessarily about money, but I think in your case it is. What would change the outcome is the Four of Cups, depression. Why on earth are you depressed? Why are you depressed? Hmm, that's an interesting card. And the outcome is the Six of Pentacles, charity. I mean, it could be charity coming to you, but I'm sure it's you being charitable. And again, many cards have been getting, uh, many signs have been getting this recently. And I've said the energy could be about being charitable in your opinions of people. I think this is monetary charitability. Now, there's a few things that I don't fully understand here. So please stick with me as we try and work them out. Now, the overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. This is more minor cycles than major cycles. So I think it is entirely personal to you because in September, it does feel as though a major cycle is coming to an end and a minor cycle is beginning. But that's in terms of global events. I think this is personal. And it should bring with it a degree of luck. So things are changing for you. Maybe you're no longer fooling around in the love, in the world of love. Maybe that's it. I think there's more to it than that. I think it involves money. Now, this energy runs throughout all the other cards, and I need to interpret them in the light of that. As I say, your readings for a long time have been about love and your seeming ability to keep cheating in love. And I do hope this cycle is an end to that because of... Well, it's not good for you, but I'm getting fed up of readings about your love life, to be frank. So in the recent past, we have this Ace of Cups. It should be about love. It should mean love. It should mean a new and divine love. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully that's all we read into it. Um, you know, you look at it. Well, it is divine, isn't it? There's that bird above it. The water's going down uh, down from the cup onto the lily pond, but it's always being replenished. So you're being replenished through love, as it were. Let us hope so. And your current energy is that of the Four of Pentacles. Now, traditionally, we see this as a unhealthy attitude towards money. Maybe even being a bit miserly. And I think that probably is how we should read it. However, it can also be talking about a scarcity mentality. And of course, we're being fed fear porn to encourage a scarcity mentality. 
when the scarcity mentality is the very way that the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. But also a desire for control. And again, I see that as very unhealthy. So whatever way we read this energy, I don't think it's a good energy to have. No. I was just looking at the outcome and I think the outcome's a good outcome. So maybe you abandon this. We'll see. Now in the future you become the king of one. So natural born entrepreneur. And this isn't the first time I've had the indication that you are a natural born entrepreneur. But you look at him, I mean, he, he, he looks a bit like a magician, doesn't he? I, I think he feels somewhat controlling. I think there's something that I find rather dark, rather sinister about him. Now, you know, I've been an entrepreneur. I, I've, I've owned a number of businesses. So please don't see this as me condemning all entrepreneurs. In fact, I think we're going to need entrepreneurs in the future, but different entrepreneurs people who are more social entrepreneurs and may, maybe it's saying you'll become that I don't know I don't know I, I, I don't feel it's saying that but it's possible what leads to the outcome is the seven of pentacles card of long-term investments and savings now other signs have been getting this and I've said, been saying it might not be about money, it might be about investing for the future, investing for the future in you. Let's face it, the world is a very uncertain place, so anything that we can be doing for the future is a good thing, including perhaps the Four of Pentacles, being a bit careful with your money. Uh, but there's too many indications here that you're doing things for the wrong reasons. Now I might be completely wrong about this because of I do, you know the outcome I see is a very positive outcome. So so please don't you know jump at me over me saying this. You know it is commendable to be saving for the future. It is commendable to be making long term investments. It's just your reasoning that I question. I suppose it's because for so long we've been getting indications of you cheating in love. Maybe, maybe I'm misrepresenting you. And what would change the outcome? Five of Cups, you going into something of a depression. Why? Why are you going into a depression? Is it to do with these past loves? What is it? What is it? Why are you going into this depression? Are you fearful about something? I, I think that's the most likely. Fearful about something. You know, you look at the card and there he is. He's had at least three cups of wine, hasn't he? Well, he's drunk, let's face it. And he's slumped over that bar. And the barmaid's going, Time, haven't you got home to go to? And he's going, no, bugger off. Yeah, a great depression. Great depression. A terrible card, I think. Now, you know, other readers will tell you all cards have both good and bad in them. But it, it's hard to see what is the good in this particular rendering, isn't it? And... The outcome is the Six of Pentacles, a card of charity. Now, it could be charity towards you, it could be you being charitable. I have, for somebody in September, for another sign in September, even associated with this, you losing benefits from the government. I don't think it's that at all. I think it's you being charitable. And that's, that's a wonderful thing, given all the other energies that I'm picking up on. Some signs have had this and I think it's about being charitable towards others in terms of your opinions. But I don't think this is. I think this is actual money. 
Now, you know, I've been an entrepreneur. As I say, I've had many businesses. I used to give 10% of my profits. Well, 10% of the profits went to charity. 10% of the profits went to my employees. Um, so, you know, well, you know, maybe I should have given more, you, you were saying. I, I didn't used to take any for myself. It, it all got ploughed back in. But, you know, or almost all. Occasionally I might need something, but no. Uh, so, you know, maybe you can have entrepreneurship. Maybe you can be the way that I perceive you to be and still be charitable. So maybe that's a great thing, if, if that's right. But, you know, I cannot fathom why you're depressed. I think it's to do with fear. But we really do need a a confirmation on what it's all about. And yeah, it should come as no surprise that um, I want clarification on this Five of Cups. Why are you depressed? And the first card to come out is the Ten of Swords. So I'm right, you are fearful. The next card is the Knight of Swords. Bold, brave, but does rush into things. Have you been a bit too bold? And the final card is the uh, King of Pentacles. Somebody that's good with money. So we've got the King of King of um, King of Wands, a natural entrepreneur, and now the King of Pentacles, somebody who understands and is good with money, and this is making you depressed. Let's unpack it a bit further, eh? So yeah, the first card is the Ten of Swords, being kept to no ache at night with worry. What are you worried about? And it's leading to depression, remember. You're worried about money. You're worried about money. Uh, why are you worried about money? Well, I believe that you've picked up on what all of us have picked up on. The things are changing. You've picked up on the fear porn that is contained in this very... Um, on this very platform you're worried about losing money you're worried what will happen to money itself you know you're worried you're lying awake with worry and fear and it's depressing you Why do I believe that this platform and the press and everything else is full of this sort of fear porn related to money and investments? Well, I believe it's so that we take our money out of one form of investment and put it into a riskier one. Now, I'm not offering financial advice because I believe all markets to be inherently rigged. But let me just say that because I see them as rigged, I've got this feeling that virtual money and gold are just another of these bubbles that we're being encouraged to get into. And I think you've been bold. You've gone into some sort of alternative investments, as it were, and now you're worried about it. You're not only worried, it's making you depressed. Well, you know, it's quite easy. Instead of, instead of worrying and being depressed about it, why not get into something a bit more secure? You know, it's quite simple. You see, you are someone who's good with money. You are a wider investor, King of Pentacles. Uh, but I think you're realising what the rest of us have already realised. And that is that the world is changing. And those skills that were useful in the old world are going to be useful in the new world. Now coming back to that wheel of fortune, you're seeing it as a personal minor cycle when what's going on is a global major cycle. So as I say, look, if you're worried about money and investments, then do something a bit more secure, you know, you might not become rich over it, but hey, at least you'll stop worrying. And if you'll stop worrying, you will attract bounty from the universe. So, 
I, it sounds like I don't like you, Taurus, and I do. There have been many readings where you've come out as an utter rogue, but I've always felt your heart's in the right place, and I, I think it's the same here. I'm, I'm not saying that you are a dreadful person. I'm saying you've, you've just not picked up quite on what the universe is wanting you to do. So we can summarise, Taurus. Taurus, for so long your readings have been about love and you cheating in love. And I, please don't think I'm condemning you. You know, you've always come out as having a heart of gold, a lovable rogue. But this reading is about money. And I think it's about the fact that you haven't caught on to what the rest of us are beginning to catch on. And that is that the world is dramatically changing particularly around money. So you're seeing, interpreting all this as a personal cycle and very personally, when really it's it's a part of bigger, broader things. Um, and you are going to learn from them. And, and, you know, you are a good person. It's just that, well, I think you've been preoccupied with love, that you've not spotted what the rest of us have. Right now you're being a bit miserly, a bit careful with your money. Well, you know, it's probably not a bad thing. But that is at the heart of how you've got to change. You're investing for the long term, which is, is a great thing. And how I think you'll change is I think you'll become more charitable. And that's, that's a wonderful thing. You know, if you're making money and you're being charitable, that's fantastic. You know, other people are being charitable, but maybe in their feelings... But you, I think this is actual money. And so we could end there and say, happy. Uh, but I think you are very, very worried and depressed. And it's not about money, uh, love, which I thought it would be. No, you're depressed about money. You're depressed about your investments. Have you been too bold? Have you done this? Have you done that? Because, you know, you see yourself as a natural-born entrepreneur. You see yourself as a somebody that's very good with money. But the world is changing, and you've not really picked up on it. And the skills that have done you well in the past are not the skills that you require for the future. And now, I think you are going to learn from this mini-cycle. You are going to learn from it. You're going to emerge an entrepreneur, but I, I, I hope you're going to emerge a social entrepreneur. Or at least you're going to share your bounty. Do you know, I honestly do think you've got a heart to God. You're just not in tune with what the rest of us are, Taurus. And you'll get there. Don't worry, don't worry, you know. Or maybe we need people like you who, who, who affirm in their uh, disbelief in all that's happening. And as long as you remain charitable, then... Everything's good.